festival continues, a visit to a town where the fire department is comprised completely of teenagers. All this and more right after this. Our next story takes us to Eaton Rapids, Michigan, to meet a band of highly devoted, incredible kids. Eaton Rapids is the site of the Veterans of Foreign Wars home. The home has been in existence since 1925 and is a fully equipped community, with just one exception. The unusual thing about this community is that there are very few adult men. It's populated by the wives and children of dead or disabled veterans. And responsibilities that would usually fall to the town fathers rest in the capable hands of teenagers. proud of these kids. Uh, if you stay around here, you won't see much fooling around. They're deadly serious about the fire department. Boys and girls have a two-hour training session every Tuesday night, and that's all year round, winter and summer. The team is captained by a 17-year-old veteran named Lincoln Burt. We're going to have a uh, structure, and they're going to set it on fire. I don't know where, I don't know when. They're going to make it hot, and they're going to make it pretty hairy for us. It's going to be a really severe challenge for us, but we can handle it. The surprise drill could come at any time. This won't be a play fire, but a raging, dangerous one. The kind that kids can expect to sooner or later threaten their own homes. There it is. No matter where the team members are, they've been trained to mobilize at the station in less than a minute. Even the massive engine truck is driven by one of the licensed teams. The department actually has not one, but three fully equipped firefighting vehicles. And it looks like today they'll be needing them all. The fire has been set on an abandoned poultry farm in an outlying area of the community. And by the time the team arrives, the blaze is fully underway. The fate of that 130-foot building now rests entirely with these 19 kids. And each must know his post like clockwork. presents a two-fold challenge to the team. Their orders are to not only put out the 20-foot flames in the right wing of the building, but to also condition the left wing so that not a single cinder can take hold. It won't be easy. The water pressure in that hose will soon mount to 200 pounds per square inch and take three boys just to hold. Inside the building has risen to nearly 800 degrees. The team is required to break in. One contingent will head for the roof to break ventilation bolts, while the rest don oxygen masks and protective suits. With any fire, there is the possibility that potential survivors are trapped inside. Incredibly, from the time the first engine arrived at the scene to the moment the survivor dummy was brought out, a total of only three and a half minutes had elapsed. Certainly, time is a very, very important thing in firefighting, because every second counts. It doesn't take uh, very long for a building to be lost. And many times, the difference between saving a building and losing it is being there just one or two minutes early, knowing your job well enough so that you can put that fire out quickly. And that's what we're attempting to teach these kids. As the building shows, the kids' team has accomplished its test drill perfectly. In fact, the VFW firefighters are so skilled that they're in demand even outside their community. Three years ago, an all-night fire in nearby Onondaga burned this meeting hall to the ground. The VFW team was credited with saving all surrounding buildings. By using this department in that manner, it freed my people to get them into the seat of the fire and get the fire under control. That, at that time, persuaded me that this young department could function as an adult fire department upon request. The VFW kids think nothing of rising to their adult challenges. It's just a way of life. But all that responsibility hasn't managed to weigh them down one bit. When the danger and hard work's over, it's back to that good old kid stuff.
receive you back.